So April here with Ready or Not Entertainment. I'm doing our segment, Meet the Locals. I'm sitting here with Aeus from Minneapolis. How are you guys doing? Good, pretty good. Um, so introduce yourselves, names and instruments. <laughs> uh, I'm Addison, and I play bass and also backup vocals. Okay. Joey, <coughs> drums. Uh, I'm Steve, and I play guitar and lead vocals. So I just want to thank you guys for sitting down with me. I appreciate it. No problems. <laughs> um, so how would you guys describe your music to say someone who's never heard it before? Um, I'd say mostly hard rock. A little bit of metal elements, mm -hmm. about 95% singing, a little bit of screaming just for accent. Okay. Um, we can bring the heavy, but we can bring the catchy. Oh, yeah. Catchy okay. heavy. Uh, if you like bands like uh, Breaking Benjamin or um, Avenged Sevenfold, Paramore, we incorporate like a little bit of elements and okay. all that, those styles. So. How did you guys get started as a band? Uh, I this guy. <laughs> well, I, uh, we were in a band, we were in a cover band, like right before starting AS, and, and uh, you know, I, I had a bunch of songs that I had started writing, and I was like, hey, you guys like metal music, and yeah. like, yeah, yeah, totally, you know, naming off bands and all that stuff, and I was like, well, let's, Let's try and do something, you know, see mm -hmm. see if we got anything going good and <coughs> and then, you know, here we are almost three years later mm -hmm. and just having fun with it. Yeah. Yeah. Way it should be. Totally, yeah. So who would you guys say are some of your biggest influences as a band? As a band or like us individually? You can do individually or as a band. Mm -hmm. Um I don't really have like bands or anything that I grew up with that like influenced me. It was just more like drummers or just musicians. Okay. A lot of YouTube in high school. I yeah. just sit there and watch YouTube. Teddy Campbell, Dave Weckl, Steve Gadd, mm, Tony Orso Jr. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now it's pretty metal now. Yeah. Now it's pretty metal. <laughs> Back then I was a nerd. Still am, but uh, as far as me, um, what I play and what I what I mostly or usually listen to are kind of different. Mm -hmm. I usually listen to stuff that's heavier than mm -hmm. what we play. Okay. Like uh, one of my all-time favorite bands is Seven Dust okay. and always will be. But uh, some of the other bands that I really like are um, like As LA Dying and Memphis May Fire, August Burns Red, oh. that style. Okay. So, mm. But I listen to all sorts of not just rock and metal yeah. but all sorts of music as well. Cool. Always good to be open. <laughs> Um, I don't know, I mean, growing up, you know, my mom listened to a lot of, like, grunge, mm -hmm. hard grunge music, and so, like, Smashing Pumpkins and Nirvana, and, you know, I listened to a lot of Green Day, you know, that was probably one of my favorite bands when I was in, like, fourth grade, and, but, you know, as I got older, you know, I started listening to more, more heavier music, and mm -hmm. even a lot of death metal, and, you know, like, uh, Flesh God Apocalypse, and, you know, I love Lamb of God and As I Lay Dying and stuff like that, so... And even a lot more, like, pop rock kind of bands, like, okay. you know, Green Day or Paramore and, you know, stuff like that, so... I just like anything that can be, like, even remotely aggressive, I kind of like that, you know? Yeah. Hard-hitting drums and yeah. all that fun stuff. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, what would you guys say have some, um, been some of your biggest accomplishments as a band? Like been quite a bit. Yeah. Um, I mean, we've opened for a number of uh, national acts. Okay. Um, Shine Down. <coughs> in this moment, Seven Dust. Who was Sank. Um, what else? We've been on some compilation CDs, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm forgetting probably everything we've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> well, I this interview right now, and that's that's part of it. Yeah. Yeah. I would probably say Shine Down. Those biggest cool. shows. Yeah. Shine Down was uh, on a on a day's notice, really? basically. Where was that at? In Fargo. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> basically, I sent out a bunch of emails to booking agencies and mm -hmm. whatnot, and then I sent them out in the morning on a Thursday. Two hours later, I get a response back from 
this agent being like, hey, do you want to open for Shinedown tomorrow in Fargo? Wow. So I called the, called the, these guys yeah. and be like, pack your shit, we're going to Fargo. <laughs> so, yeah. so that was, sorry, don't swear. Um, <laughs> so we, we uh, made it to Fargo and played the show within a 24 hour notice. And then, um, and then Seven Dust was also probably another one of our yeah. biggest shows and that was at uh, Myth. Sweet. So. What would you guys say is like the hardest thing being a band? Hardest thing about it? Getting noticed. Yeah. yeah. I mean it's a lot of hard work that goes into being a band and mm -hmm. putting music out and that sometimes there's not a lot of uh, you don't see the you don't reap the benefits right away. Yeah. But, you know what I mean? So it's a lot of hard work that you don't see it pay off instantly. Yeah. But you gotta keep slugging it out. Yeah. And a lot of people fail to realize that. A lot of people. <laughs> keep it out, right? People think that when you're in a band it's just party party girls girls all the yeah. time. And it's girls, girls, girls. <laughs> and it's definitely not that. No. I mean sometimes it's a lot of fun yeah. in that aspect, but well, I mean it's always fun. Yeah. But <clears throat> it, there's a lot of hard work, blood, sweat and tears that goes into it. Yeah. So literally. <laughs> literally. So it's still relatively early in the year. Do you guys have any big plans for the rest of the year, summer? Mega oh. huge. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, well, we have Mega death. Mega death. I don't know what that meant. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, our debut album's coming out. Sweet. This um, summer, fall, soon. Okay. <laughs> it's a mystery still. But we don't know yet. Okay. It's, it's almost done. We're excited. That's good. So. <laughs> That's our. That's the biggest, biggest news. Oh, and saving Abel. <laughs> saving Abel. So, yep. What is that show? Are you guys? That's uh. Pff, I don't even know. Oh. We <laughs> putting things in my face. <laughs> we uh. That's the that's the first show that we have lined up so okay. far, um, for this year, okay. August seventeenth. I think it's a Sunday. Okay. At uh, the Fine Line with Saving Able, and then also August 21st at Buster's in Mankato, okay. also with Saving Able. Nice. So. <laughs> Two times. <coughs> mm -hmm. um, what would you guys say have been some of your favorite memories as a band? Oofed. <laughs> the drive to Fargo actually was pretty fun. Yeah. Yeah, driving up here. You drove separately. Yeah, that was, that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. About halfway there, I started panicking and thinking it was not a real show and someone was pranking us because it kind of came out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, Fargo's probably that was the most fun I've had in a long time. Yeah, well, even just driving there, I, th I thought yeah. it was fun. Yeah. Just a yeah. stopping. Quick adventure. Eating at the gas stations on the way out there. Yeah. <laughs> really hot, too. Really hot. Really hot. Especially driving in my car with no, no fucking air conditioning and <laughs> sweating it out. Adds some more excitement, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then playing a show the next day. Yeah. You know, just warm. Yeah. The very next day. The very yeah. yeah. For like a very tiny crowd after. <laughs> the, <laughs> while driving back after the show, you know, at like two in the morning. Yeah. And then waking up, well, waking up early to go to work because you know we have full time jobs yeah. and. Yeah. I hear you. Yeah. yeah. That, was, that was a big one for me. That was good. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Do a lot of stuff together. Don't, well, in a weird gesture, so camera. I think actually, you know, just hanging out outside of the band, you know, mm -hmm. going to see other local music mm -hmm. bands play, and we have a lot of friends, you know, that we've kind of made over yeah. the few years, and we'll just hang out. Like, I know uh, some Fifth Hour guys and Seven the Sun guys were hanging out with you yesterday, and mm -hmm. it's fun. Yeah. Meet a lot of cool people. The Killswitch show was pretty fun. How about that? That was fun. That was totally, yeah. I saw yeah. Killswitch was a gauge. And then God, it was a lot of fun. That was brutal. So where can people watching this video find you guys at? Oof. <sighs> don't give it to me. I don't know. You do it. Find, like, you mean find like, the video or find us? Us. Well, not find you personally. Well, my, oh, oh, come on. <laughs> I'm off For all the ladies, my address okay, so is... you really want to that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, well, uh, our website is actually under construction right now, like our actual website. Mm -hmm. um, but really, all we, all you need to find us is just Facebook. Okay. Just Facebook slash um, A S A E O U S. Okay. I'll put the links below on everything. Twitter, so. Twitter, 
Okay. At A's, A's Music. music. I just want to thank you guys for sitting down with me. I appreciate it. Thanks for having us. And thank you. Check out AS. Check out Meet the Locals as well. And we'll see you next interview. Yeah. <laughs>